Hello everyone, I'm Jacob, Regional Manager here at BCN3D. We have some exciting news to share with you today. We're proud to announce the release of Firmware 2.0, the biggest update to the Epsilon era that will bring new improvements and added performance to the Epsilon line of 3D printers. This update has been in development for several months and includes all of the improvements from previous firmware releases together with new features such as live first layer adjustments, improvements to mirror mode and duplication mode, as well as brand new cleaning and mesh mapping routines. Let's take a closer look at some of these features. One of the main value propositions of BCN 3D printers is IDEX. This feature allows our customers to print in duplication and mirror modes to double productivity and make more use of the massive build volume. Up until now, when printing in mirror or duplication modes, we've always recommended that customers use shims to compensate for the Z offset between the two nozzles. However, with the release of Firmware 2.0, we can now offer two clear workflows. If you want the best possible dimensional accuracy, you can install shims to compensate for the Z offset between each print head. This will guarantee that both parts are identical. However, if you want a more simple workflow, you can opt to not install these shims and allow the Epsilon printer to automatically compensate for the Z offset between both nozzles by duplicating the first layer. This allows you to make use of mirror or duplication mode without the need to install any shims at all. The first layer live adjustment, also known as baby stepping, is a feature that allows you to control the height of the first layer in real time. As we all know, the first layer of the print is key in ensuring the success of the printing job. With this new feature on the Epsilon series, adjustments to the Z-axis offset can be made on the printer's control panel during the first layer of the print. By including the first layer live adjustment in our printers, you will be able to achieve greater precision and control over the printing process, resulting in higher quality prints and more successful projects overall. During the last couple of months, we've been working on developing a new mesh mapping routine that massively improves the accuracy of our first layer calibration. Once the mesh map is generated, the printer's firmware can use this data to adjust the height of the hot end during the printing process. By better compensating for these imperfections, we're seeing big improvements to the overall quality and accuracy of the printed parts, whilst also reducing the likelihood of print failures and wasted material. We have also developed a new routine that cleans the hot end and greatly improves the performance of sensor readings ensuring that the automatic calibration process is as efficient and as reliable as possible. By incorporating this new routine into our printers, we are massively improving user experience and ensuring that the 3D printing process is as efficient and as reliable as possible. Last but not least, during these last few months, we have developed a brand new welcome wizard. By following the step-by-step -step guide on the control panel of the printer, you can ensure that your Epsilon is configured properly which will help to minimize errors and improve the quality of your 3D printed parts. In conclusion, Firmware 2.0 is the biggest update ever released by BCN 3D for the Epsilon line of 3D printers. This update features massive improvements across the workflow, improving consistency, reliability, and performance. We can't wait to see how Firmware 2.0 will be used by BCN 3D users to continue creating powerful and exciting 3D printed parts.